Hey, so one of the downsides to kettlebell training, as I've always said, is the lack of rowing movements. I mean, sure, you get a lot of upper back work when you do snatches, definitely, overhead. You get a lot of upper back work when you're cleaning the bells. Um, and then you can do the standard kettlebell row. But because it's so press dominant and so overhead dominant when you do your get-ups, your snatches, and your presses, I think that a lot of the stuff that we've got to do to really balance out all that overhead stuff is to try to get in a lot more mid and upper back work. And the way we do that is through a series of rows and face pulls. And I'll show you a great little tri-circuit that I use in my training. And this is after every time that I finish any set of snatches or uh, a session of snatches or a session of presses or even a session of get-ups just to really help pull my shoulders back. Now this is also a great circuit for you to do even if you're into dumbbell training or barbell training, mainly because as I've always said before, we live in an anterior dominant society where we're always hunched over a desk or we're always dry or everything that we do is in front of our body and we're sitting down all the time so we're always hunched over. So this is one of those great little triceps that you can do um, that'll help improve your posture and give you a strong upper back. We're going to use one of my favorite tools now, uh, TRX. Okay, so this is how you can use a TRX to really help strengthen your upper back. I'm gonna do a tricep, we're gonna do rows, face pulls, and um, T's, which is uh, kind of like the YTWL sequence that uh, you've seen a lot of rehab people do before. So I'm gonna grab my TRX, and for the rows, and I'm gonna turn my back to you, but I've got a good mic so that you'll be able to hear me. What you really wanna make sure of when you're rowing is that you're leading with your chest and pulling your elbows back. You wanna imagine almost that you've got a pencil in your shoulder blades, and you wanna grab that pencil with your shoulder blades, and really Really open up and you want to make sure that you're staying locked out in your knees and in your glutes and bracing your abs so when you're rowing you're pulling all the way up so I'll show you the back of what I'm doing we're gonna start with our palms down and then from here we're gonna pull squeeze and open up our chest and then come back down so if you catch me from the side I'm pretty much leaning back starting with my palms down and I'm gonna rotate and pull my palms so that I'm pulling straight to my rib cage. Another thing that you don't wanna do is you don't wanna bend your wrists. So you don't wanna do any of this stuff where you're kinda of chicken winging out, okay? So I want you to do 10 rows. Immediately after that, we're gonna do the TRX face pull. So the TRX face pull, you're gonna to have to stand a little bit further away from the base of where the TRX is. That'll make it a little bit easier. This is kind of uh, narrowing down the focus. So we start with a rose, which has a very general focus. Now we're gonna do face pulls, which has a bit more of a narrower focus, more on the upper back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our elbows away and then externally rotate our hands all in one motion. And we really wanna make sure that we're keeping our shoulders down and back. We don't want our shoulders to hike up. And you can see I'm really squeezing my upper back. My elbows are right in line of the height of my shoulders. They're not going lower than that. And so that's a great lower trap exercise that'll really help pull your shoulders open. Then immediately after that, we're gonna do a T. So it's pretty much like a rear delt raise. We're really emphasizing squeezing our shoulders together and opening up. And we're gonna have to step a little bit further back for this exercise, again, because we've got a little bit more narrower focus, focusing on, again, the upper traps and the rear delts. So I'm a little bit further back and I'm gonna squeeze shoulder blades together and then come back down under control. Okay, so that's, that's a T. So what I want you to do is after any type of pressing, any type of get ups, or even any, any snatches or anything, you're gonna focus on doing right after your session, you're gonna do two or three sets, you're gonna go 10 rows. Immediately after that, you're gonna walk yourself back a little bit more. Then you're gonna do 10 face pulls, so you're squeezing, opening up your chest. So we call it a face pull because you're pulling that TRX into your face. And then after that, you're gonna do 10 T's. And I want you to rest maybe for about 60 seconds and then do it again. Do it about three times and that'll really balance out all the overhead work that you do. If you like this video and you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down there. And uh, I'm Chris Lopez, SFG Level 2, and I'll see you guys at kettlebellworkouts.com in the next video.